Hi everybody, it's Wayne. Um, today we're going to talk about um, getting started with PowerPoint on the web. Um, so first of all, I've signed in to office.com. I just went to office.com up in my Omni box up here and um, signed in using my uh, Office Microsoft um, email and password and then I get here to Microsoft Office. So we're going to be using um, PowerPoint. So I just, oh, I might start off with OneDrive first. So I'll just click on OneDrive. And from OneDrive, I'm going to create a new PowerPoint presentation or PowerPoint slideshow. Another thing that it might be called is a slide deck. Um, so I just go up to my new button and then select PowerPoint presentation. Okay, so here's my new PowerPoint presentation. Now, uh, very first thing, I just close this designer window to start off with. And um, the very first thing I usually get people to do is to name it straight away. So you go up to here where the name part is and click it and then replace that text with the name of your document. And then once you've typed it in, just press enter. And uh, here you will then have a, a new presentation. Um, at, that's been renamed. Now I've already got my title slide. So this slide here is actually this slide here. This is where I make the adjustments or the edits to the slide. And I can uh, change the order once I have more than one slide in over here in the navigation window or navigation pane, whatever you want to call it. Over here I can click and drag to reorder my slides. So. Um, I'll just show you how to add a new slide. So I'm in, as you can see, I'm in my home tab and you can do this in the insert tab too. There's a new slide button in the insert tab. Um, but I'll just go back to my home tab. It's a little bit easier and I'll click on new slide. And then you've got a choice of different layouts that you could use for the slides. So the title slide's already there. So that's title slide layout. The rest of the slides in the, this presentation will be the second one, title and content. So I just click to select it and then add slide. And then I just keep, I just keep doing that because I think there's six slides all together. So you've got to add one, two, three, four, five um, um, title and content slides to your presentation. All right, well, I've sped things up a bit. Here's one I prepared earlier. Um, so the most time consuming elements of today's uh, activity will be to add the text into your slides like just browsing through all the slides so add the text that'll probably take you the longest to type and then go back to slide number two which is the first one with the image in it and then add your images um, so to add an image all you do um, like in uh, Word and in Excel, you just go insert, go to your pictures option, and we're just going to get uh, Bing pictures. And just type in for the first three slides where you've got to get pictures for, um, you just type in work from home. It doesn't really matter if you've got the same pictures as um, in the example, but just make sure that you get three different ones. So I think that's the for the one for slide two. Um, I think you've got one here to use for uh, um, the next slide, and just use any one for the other slides uh, for the other, for the next slide. 
And then there's a uh, call um, that you need to get for the second last slide, which is virtual meeting. It doesn't have to be, it could be that one if you wanted it. Um, I think that's the one that I chose. Um, and once you select it, you just click on it and then insert. But I won't insert it because I've already got one in there. So I'll just cancel that. All right, so the next thing to do um, would be to choose your design theme for the slides. So you go to the design tab and then in there's your design themes there and you just click that little arrow next to that box and I think the one that you're choosing at the moment is called Parallax. Okay so you might have noticed the designer popped up so that's to give you even more design ideas within the parallax um, option so in the so if you've selected slide number one over here now i want you to choose um, as outlined in the example the different uh, design designer theme. So I'm just going to choose that one for the first slide. Okay, so for my second slide, I'll just select my second slide and I think I'm going to choose this one here. I think that's the right one. For my third one, just get rid of that box. I think that's the correct one to choose. For my fourth one, I might even need to choose some more design ideas. I think the top one. For my fifth one, I think that's the one. For my sixth one is that one there. So remember, if you can't see it here, um, just go to more design ideas. It might be down a little bit further. Once you are finished with the designer, just close it. And as you can see, I've jumped and selected uh, slide number one again. Now, I think in the um, uh, activity that we're doing today, I said to change the um, transition of all slides to Vortex. So in the tabs, what you do is you go to transition and then change, um, in, here's all of your different effects. Click that down arrow there and find vortex which is this one and we'll go up over here apply to all and as you can see this little star at the side of each side means that a transition has been applied to those slides the next thing i'm going to do is just have a look through my slides and make sure they're all pretty readable um, so, for example, here, I might enlarge that a bit and make that a little bit bigger. And I'm just going to use the um, 
the little shortcut bar that comes up here when I've selected the text. And I'll go back down, 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 down to, to the next one. one. That, 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 that one's a little, little bit small. So, so, so what I'll do is, is um, and, and go to my home tab if I want to get all the text formatting tools and just use the increased font size. And I might do that for, for this as well and just use the shortcut toolbar for that. Same thing. Select all that and increase the size of that for the next slide. And bold it and increase the size of that. that over a bit because just to level it up make it look a bit bit more presentable um, make the heading bold and down here Increase the size of that writing a little bit. I'm not terribly really worried what size you get. Just as long as you make it when when needs to to Okay, okay. So the next thing to do is to um, to present the slideshow. So in, in this cut at the top right that says present and there's a little arrow next to it to give you options. So you can present from beginning. Alternatively, you can go to your slideshow tab here and choose from beginning. So here we are in present mode and I'm just going to click through my slideshow. There's the vortex. We'll talk about this to my audience and then next one so I'm just flicking through it sorry isn't that white one <laughs> think it's just my computer And then at the end, when it's finished, you get this blank uh, screen, then click again, and it goes back to the editing view. Okay, once you've, once you've practiced that, once you've done that, then I want you to um, share this with me. All right, to share it with me, it's a little bit different because you don't have the share button up here like you do in the other program. So you've actually got to go through the file tab. So if you click on the file tab and then choose share and then share with people. And when you click on share with people, it brings up the same share box where you can put my email address in there and I've provided that in the example. And um, also put a brief message like say, hi Wayne, this is my work and then send. Okay, that's about it for today.